Hello, I'm Karuta Sue, and 100 is kind of a big number, but also not really. It would probably only take you a couple of minutes to count to it. But 100 also just so happens to be the number right alongside that subscribe button on my channel. So to celebrate, I figured I'd tell a story. Get ready for the tale of the shopping cart man. January 2019. It's the Pack South Convention, located in San Antonio, Texas. Little 8th grade me was attending with the whole fam. I actually recorded this vlog. Parts 1 and 2 are on my channel, if you want to take a look. Anyways, it was morning. I think it was day 2 of the convention. Our hotel we stayed at was only a few blocks away from the convention center. Only a 15 minute walk. The route was quite simple. Just down a few streets. A few left turns, a few right turns, you know how it goes. We make our way down the street from our hotel, and pass by this church. Pretty big. I'm sure I just glance at it and keep walking though. We go to the convention. It's pretty epic. I get a victory royale. I'm here at PAX South with my victory royale. <laughs> Me and the fam walk around. We're all having a great time. And then it's late. Maybe around 10 o'clock. Maybe as late as midnight. I don't know exactly. The convention was closed for the night and it was dark outside. Me and the boys started to traverse through the dark, now very sketchy looking streets of Texas with only one goal in mind, get back to the hotel. Now eventually, we pass that church. It's dark, but there's a few streetlights illuminating the entrance of the church. Now, me and Span were behind the group. We weren't far at all from the family, but we were in back, probably talking about Minecraft or something cool. Anyways, we are the last to pass by the front of the church. And you know me, I'm kind of an observant guy. I wanted to admire the great state of Texas. I looked over at the front doors of the church. And there I see it. Its shape immediately told me what it was. It was a shopping cart. Now, when you're walking late at night, there are a handful of things I bet you don't expect seeing. A shopping cart on the front steps to a church is definitely one of them. This surprised me a lot. But this surprise quickly turned into excitement. A shopping cart? Just laying there? Think of the possibilities you have with the shopping cart not being confined to a grocery store parking lot. I look closer. It looks old, and I can see bits of the paint are peeling off. It looked a bit rusty as well, but that doesn't matter. A shopping cart is a shopping cart. I get Span's attention. Look, there's a shopping cart, I tell him, pointing to it. But then I hear a rustling sound. It's coming from the church. I look at the church closer, just beyond the shopping cart. At the very foot of the doors was a blue sleeping bag, and it was moving. I'm confused, but then things make sense when a man pops out of it. He looks at me and shouts, Hey man, that is my shopping cart! It comes out a little muffled, but I can understand what he's saying. This whole situation happened in the course of about 5 seconds, and I am completely taken aback by the sudden appearance of this random man, who I already knew by his tone, would do anything to protect his shopping cart. Not really knowing what to say, I stammer something like, Yeah man, sorry, yup, that's your shopping cart, as we quickly get out of there. For the rest of the way back, this encounter is the only thing we can talk about. Span and I laugh about it and explain what just happened to everyone. A legendary story to tell for sure. Caleb, are you putting in your vlog the shopping cart story? <laughs> I will tell the shopping cart story, but that is, we're going to save that for another day. All right. But this, these things are cool and they're fast. So yeah. Uh, yeah take, take, take. But that's not quite where the story ends. While that was the last and only encounter to date with the shopping cart man, the squad is back in Texas, back for Pack South 2020. It's me and the boys, just us, walking somewhere late at night. We're across the street from a park. It's quickly noticed that on the sidewalk in front of the park stands a single shopping cart, just sitting there. Don't say it, don't think it, is the quote we agree on as we walk past, never looking back. I still think about the shopping cart man once in a while. I wonder if he's still out there, conquering the world with nothing but him and his trusty shopping cart by his side. But I guess we may truly never know.